There is a deep and powerful sense of purpose behind every person that enters your life. Some come in as temporary fixtures meant to teach you lessons or provide guidance for a short time. Others, however, arrive with a more permanent role in mind. These are the individuals whom God has chosen to be your soulmate. When someone arrives with the intention of friendship, it can be easy to overlook the possibility of something more. But when someone enters your life with the intention of a relationship, it's a clear sign that God has a plan for you. And when that person makes you happy without any force or pressure, you know that it's a divine connection that cannot be ignored. God's ways are always in order, and He sends us opportunities and doors every day. It's up to us to recognize them and seize them with both hands. Even if you think there may be other options or choices, trust that God has sent this person for a reason. Many of us have been broken by life and love, and we've started to doubt the existence of God or His love for us. But when that special someone comes into your life, your hope is reignited. They become the source of happiness and joy in your life, sent by God to remind you of your purpose and give you a reason to keep living. God loves us deeply and cares about our happiness. He sends us our soulmate to be the very source of that happiness and joy. They are there to put a smile on our face and bring light into the darkest corners of our lives. This person will make us happy without requiring any constant effort on our part or theirs. It's a sign that we've found someone special. Friendship is the bedrock of every good and lasting relationship. If you and your soulmate are already friends, that's a big blessing. God has faded you together without either of you realizing it. He does this because the most successful relationships start with friendship. During friendship, there is no pressure to be perfect. Both of you can truly get to know each other for who you are. When things fail, you have your best friend to stand in the gap for you. If God did not want you to be with that person, he wouldn't have put you in a friendship with them or put feelings of love in your heart for them. God wants you to be with your soulmate so that you can enjoy the stage of the relationship before moving on to the stage of marriage. He wants you to be with someone who knows all about you, the good and the ugly, but still chooses you regardless. If this person keeps coming closer to you, even after you've shared all your past mistakes, it's a sign that God wants you to be with them. Only God can put that kind of love in your hearts. Sometimes, we get lost in the friendship and fail to see that the person's attitude towards us is more than just friendship. They are our life partner, meant to be with us through thick and thins. Another unexpected sign that God wants you to be with someone is when there is an alignment of purpose. When you meet someone whose purpose aligns with yours, it's not a coincidence. It's a divinely orchestrated moment. God sets plans for us that are good and not evil, to bring us to an expected end. He stations people in each stage of our lives for a reason and a purpose. It's up to us to understand their function so that we don't mix the permanent with the temporary. Understand that God has a reason and a purpose for your life. When you encounter the right people, your life can take a new turn. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he still links people to the right path. Trust in him, and he will direct your path. And when you encounter the right people, your life takes a new turn. These people may be your soulmate, your best friend, or your mentor. They may come into your life unexpectedly, but their impact will be profound. It's easy to feel lost in this world, to doubt your purpose and your worth. But God sends people to remind us that we are not alone, that we have a reason for being here. They remind us of our unique gifts and talents, and they encourage us to pursue our dreams. Sometimes, these people come in the form of a teacher or a coach. They push us to be our best selves, to reach our full potential. Other times, they come in the form of a stranger, offering a kind word or a helping hand when we need it most. But when someone arrives as your soulmate, you know that this person is meant to be with you for the rest of your life. They are your partner, your confidant, and your support system. They know you better than anyone else, and they love you unconditionally. With your soulmate, you share a deep and powerful connection. It's as if you've known each other for a lifetime. Even if you've only just met, you can finish each other's sentences, understand each other's thoughts and feelings without even speaking. Your soulmate is your other half, the missing piece that completes you. With them, you can conquer anything that life throws your way. You can face challenges with courage and grace, knowing that you have each other's backs. But finding your soulmate isn't always easy. It requires patience, trust, and a willingness to take risks. It may take years of searching and heartbreak before you finally meet the one who is meant to be with you. But when you do, it's worth it. Every moment of doubt and despair fades away, replaced by a deep sense of joy and purpose. You know that you've found your true home, the place where you belong. In the end, it's not just about finding your soulmate. It's about the journey you take to get there. It's about the people you meet along the way, the lessons you learn, and the growth you experience. And when you do find your soulmate, it's not the end of the journey. 
It's just the beginnings. You embark on a new adventure together filled with love, laughter, and endless possibilities. So don't give up on the search for your soulmate. Keep your heart open, and trust that God has a plan for you. Know that every person who enters your life is there for a reason, whether they stay for a moment or a lifetime. And remember, your soulmate is out there somewhere, waiting for you. So keep searching, keep believing, and keep moving forward. The journey may be long, but the destination is worth it. And as you continue your search for your soulmate, don't forget to take care of yourself. It's easy to become so focused on finding the right person that you forget to nurture your own well-beings. Remember to prioritize your mental, physical, and emotional health. Take time to rest, to reflect, and to pursue your own passions and interests. Build a life that is fulfilling and joyful, regardless of whether or not you have found your soulmate yet. And when you do meet someone who captures your heart, remember that a healthy relationship is built on mutual respect, trust, and communications. It's not enough to simply find someone who makes you happy. You must also be willing to work together to overcome challenges and build a life together. It's important to set boundaries, to communicate your needs and desires, and to be willing to compromise when necessary. A strong relationship is not about perfection, but about two imperfect people who choose to love each other despite their flaws. But even when you find your soulmate and build a strong relationship, it's important to remember that nothing in life is guaranteed. Relationships require effort, commitment, and sacrifice. They require a willingness to grow and change alongside your partner. And sometimes, despite your best efforts, things don't work out. People grow apart, circumstances change, and hearts can be broken. But even in the midst of heartbreak and loss, there is always hope. Remember that every person who enters your life, whether they stay or go, has a purpose. They are there to teach you, to challenge you, and to help you grow. And even if a relationship doesn't work out, you can still cherish the memories and the lessons learned. So keep searching for your soulmate, but don't forget to enjoy the journey along the way. Every moment, every experience, and every person you meet has the potential to enrich your life in ways you never imagined. And remember, you are worthy of love and happiness, no matter what your relationship status may be. So don't give up on your dreams and don't let fear hold you back. Embrace the unknown, trust in God's plan, and keep moving forward. The best is yet to come. In conclusion, the search for your soulmate is a journey that requires patience, trust, and faith. It's a journey that can be both exhilarating and challenging, but it's also a journey that is filled with hope and promise. So as you continue on this journey, may you be guided by the wisdom of God and the light of his love. May you have the courage to take risks, the patience to wait for the right person, and the grace to build a strong and healthy relationship when you do find them. And may you always remember that you are never alone, that God is with you every step of the way. May you feel his presence in every person you meet, every moment you experience, and every dream you pursue. In Jesus' name, amen.